And good afternoon, YouTube fans, friends of the planet Earth, all the new subscribers, and all the folks I want to say thank you very much for your new subscribers out there. Uh, we want to talk today about uh, personal hygiene. Uh, well, pretty much, uh, if you don't take care of your body, your body won't take care of you and there's a very economical way to go about preparing yourself for uh, any kind of uh, SHTF situation relatively inexpensively uh, we know that um, well if you know the history of uh, personal hygiene during the 1880s uh, after the Civil War we started to um, you know, gather towards cities, uh, metropolitan areas. Uh, we invented skyscrapers, <clears throat> elevators. And there's something we invented called advertising. Uh, one of the first items that was ever advertised was uh, bath soap. Pretty ingenious of these guys, you know. Hey, uh, you stink. You need to bathe. And next came uh, personal deodorants. Of course, we all know about toothpaste. You know, they got the dentist out there. have got a, a racket going with the dental care folks saying that you don't take care of your teeth. Uh, you can suffer heart disease and other ailments. Uh, well, you ask a lot of people back in the uh, <laughs> pre-days about dental care, and they would laugh at your mouth because if they didn't eat sugar and they, they, uh, they ate a good diet, you find these uh, tombs where people have a full head of, head of teeth. So that one's up for debate, but all that inside, I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty about dental care. So uh, you, you do what you want. If you like a nice smile, you go out and dump the money out there and have that pearly whites. If you don't, you know, God bless you too. Uh, these items down here, literally, you get everywhere for free. I don't call it steel, and I call it frugal use. Uh, they leave these as a, a convenience for you while you're staying at their establishments, and uh, it's a no-brainer. They expect you to take them home. Uh, I've traveled. Well, I used to travel for the U.S. Navy as a co contractor employee for the government, and every place I'd stay, I'd stay for more than three or four days. I have boxes of these that I just took home, took with me. I used them out the fleet. If I had to deploy the ship, these came with me. They were lightweight. It didn't take up a lot of room in my, my, my limited amount of luggage I was allowed to carry. And uh, when, I let, when I was done, I left them there for somebody else to take advantage of. I mean, body soap, just because it was used once or twice and your fur's not on it, try using it up again. You wash it a few times with some hot water and it's like an onion. Uh, these guys here, there's a great debate about what you do with these. Well, I'm not going to go into that either, but I know what I do with them, and you know what you do with them. Uh, everybody should have one of these handy in their nip sack or their knapsack. Just something you want to carry uh, around because, like anything else, you know, you cut yourself, you do something stupid, uh, you got to be able to get yourself out of the situation just by having something simple as an alcohol prep pad uh, hand, side, hand, hand sanitizing uh, lotions and stuff. Every, even a littlest cut. Uh, during the Katrina uh, hurricane post-apocalypse situation there, uh, some individuals, uh, they were found and their autopsies were done. What killed them was uh, a scratch. A simple little scratch killed them. Uh, that, that could be avoided. Uh you know, these kind of things like these guys here again, uh, there is no shelf life. I've used these puppies that were 15 years old. Uh, you give them a good shaking. If you keep them in a nice, well, cool storage area, they'll last forever. Uh, I've, right now, these uh, large cans of, uh, of, of, of powdered uh, drinks... Uh, are perfect containers for a roll of toilet paper, 
or two and some of these type of materials. Now I've got them being used for barter because uh, if you're, it, when your SHTF has occurred and you're one of those good souls that's willing to uh, separate yourself from your things to allow somebody else to have something for, for, for their things, which is called barter, and you all are civil about it, uh, these things can be great for barter items. Uh, I don't, I, you know, if you want to go out and stock up on a thousand of these, 500 of them, that's fine. You hear about these uh, couponers out there, and then you see later on that they've got a box of these, 50 or 60 high. Uh, these little containers of toothpaste uh, are excellent for barter. We all know that these are excellent because, my goodness, you got something you got to get out or get rid of or... Uh, you want to use these puppies, uh, these will be made, uh, these will not be made for a very long time after an SHTF situation. Uh, these guys here you'll probably find if you're lucky to have an establishment that has a cleaning room that hasn't been pilfered yet by the thugs and thieves and people that are before you. I'm not calling you a thug or a thief, I'm just saying that uh, you know once the, the meltdown occurs and all of the damage is done and you happen to be out there scouting about you came across a couple of hotels or motels and you happen to find these grab them by all means take them anything like this it's open it's open fair game you have to keep yourself somewhat clean uh there's two places on your human body that you want to keep clean that's number one and number two keep those areas sanitary keep them clean uh you you also want to think about stocking up uh i used to collect phone books and stack them up and put them in a corner and I've got instant toilet paper if I ever run out. Uh, there's about uh, a dozen other things I could cover about personal hygiene. Uh, the other one is these guys here, you know, without this, uh, that's why I didn't go into the army. I didn't go into the army because I wear glasses and I would be uh, useless to my, to my uh, uh, team if I became sightless. I'm not blind. And always have a couple pair extra. Uh, if you can get the cheap ones, go for it. They're called BCDs. Uh, the military, if you know what BCDs mean for military eyewear, uh, you're, you're, you're good to go. But uh, we're coming up on a very historical moment. Today is Martin Luther King uh, celebration of his birthday. And all you folks know that uh, the man was a brilliant, brilliant individual. And I wish he was still alive today. He'd be proud and somewhat maybe disappointed in certain things. But I know that. Uh, we have to unite. That's why they call it the United States. Uh, it, it's not called me, myself, and I. It's called the United States. Uh, we all we have differences, and I, I'm agree to disagree. That's what we like about ourselves. Uh, but I will tell you one thing. I will go to war over your belief system if that's what it is, and, and that's what it's going to take to make us unite. Come Friday uh, midday, uh, the changing of the powers in this country will be done again peacefully. And uh, if you disagree with the individual who's about to take the oath of office, that's fine. I'm all for you disagreeing. But uh, I just want to ask you one thing. Give the man a chance. Uh, that was spoken about in 2008. Uh, and then in 2009, we all said, well, let's give this person a chance. Eight years later, it is what it is. I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff. I just know that we have a 20 plus trillion dollar debt Looming, looming over every unborn uh, American for the next 50 years until we do something about it. I don't have it. Uh, you're lucky to have me uh, being able to be on uh, YouTube only because it's free Wi-Fi. And I got this uh, video camera for free. I, I'm not one of these individuals who's complaining. I mean, I like where I'm at. If I want to be a billionaire, I could turn right around and I bet you by gumption I could be a billionaire because I'm, I'm allowed to do anything I want in this country as long as it's legal. But for these purposes, uh, remember, keep number one and keep number two clean. With these items, you can get literally for, well, you pay for them. They're yours. If you stayed in some establishment overnight or over a few days, they're yours to take and keep. Uh, these guys don't cost that much money to acquire and accumulate. We all know that you can get these by the ton load. Uh, if you still got your teeth, well, you know, take care of them. Uh, if you're unpleasant around other people because they kind of tend to want to be around you, you know what that's for. And uh, some people can die just by a cut. That's all it took. Go look at the data.
I'm going to prepare this here. You guys take care, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your country. And by all means, take care of uh, uh, watching a historical moment come Friday. Goodbye.